it. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have to ask, you're winning the Breakthrough Prize tonight for figuring out how plants synthesize light. Um, <laughs> how did you come up with the idea to go grow plants in the dark? Well, it's, it's uh, often used by people. When, when you eat white asparagus, it's because the asparagus is buried under the ground. And so, um, and also sprouts are all grown in the dark in a way, yeah, so. Um, well, the reason why I grew the plants in the dark was because we really had no idea of you know how plants were going to be, be be responding to the light environment that they were in. So we thought, well, maybe they actually respond to dark as well. So we just put them in the dark and we looked to see what was going on, and we found those mutant plants that they showed on the film. And what is what is so uh, super about these plants? The, well, <laughs> those plants are actually sick, but the super, the super plants maybe are the ones that we, we hope to make now, based on all the knowledge that we gained over the years, you know, from looking at sick plants, probably. Disease plants, in some ways, you could think of it that way. But yeah, the, so the ideal plant that we want to make is going to feed the world, or at least contribute to feeding the world. Mm -hmm. And um, and we'll also sequester carbon in the ground for many hundreds of years using these carbon-rich polymers that plants can make. We're gonna, we just want to help them do something that they're already really good at, do it just a little better, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. Uh, Kevin, I have one quick question for you, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, how would you talk about the relationship between innovation in Silicon Valley and basic science research? Well, they both follow the same process, which is the scientific method. You have a hypothesis of something you want to prove in the world, and you take a big bet on it. In our case, it was the idea that people really wanted to share their lives mm -hmm. through photos and videos. And you prove that out through a series of steps. And it's taken us you know, eight years to get to where we are right now. but. Uh, start with the hypothesis and you go through each step and you get there uh, and it doesn't always work out. <laughs> Luckily for you, it did. Hey, listen, we're, we're still working it out. Um, <laughs> and Kara, one quick question for you. Uh, did you have a chance to speak to some of the laureates tonight and whose work were you most intrigued by? Well, uh, you know, I can't even say that I'm most intrigued by just one because being here is literally an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, now we're praising scientists as celebrities. So, so, I mean, meeting Joanne Corey, sitting next to David, like those are people that have been like celebrities in my eyes. So, like I said, being here is just an opportunity and I'm thankful to be a part of it. Great. Thank you guys. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you.